What's up guys? This is part two of how to build a wooden electric go-kart and today we'll, we will be going over the electric stuff. So we'll basically just be putting together the motor with the controller and the battery to make it move. So I already attached the throttle to the controller as you can see. What you'll need to do to attach the throttle to the controller is get the green wire from the throttle to the black wire of the indicator of the controller, the yellow wire from the throttle to the kind of pink wire from the controller, and over here, these, the red wire from the throttle, blue wire from the throttle, and white to the red, black, and green on the throttle cable for the controller. Also the brown wire to the black wire and the black wire to the gray wire of the stalls cable of the controller. We're going to be putting together the motor to the controller and then the battery to the controller. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in real quick. You're just going to want to put the motor on the right side of the frame where the holes are that we talked about in part one. After you do that and you just line it up, you can either put the bolt into the, the mounting plate of the motor and then into the frame or you can put the wires of the controller to the to the motor but first I'm gonna put the bolts in yeah basically you're just going to put them in the holes and then with the nuts go on the bottom of the frame and tighten it so now we're gonna put in the controller and you're just gonna want to put it in the front of the right side and the throttle up here and what you're gonna connect for the controller and the motor are these terminal wires the wires that have a metal piece and they have a hole in them and you're gonna connect want to connect them to each one and you're also gonna want to put these you're gonna want to connect these these are the hall sensor wire, wires to where it says hall wire, the hall wire cable on the controller. And you're just going to want to match each color with each color. I'm going to do that real quick. And then we'll put the battery in and connect it to the controller with the controller's battery cable. After you do that, after the controller wires are connected to the motors, you're going to want to put electrical tape over the wires to make sure that the metal from each bolt doesn't touch um, the wires so it doesn't blow a fuse. I'm going to do this off camera though because I have to put the batteries wire onto the controllers. All right, you're just going to put it on the left side. And like the hole I was talking about, you know, I was talking about in part one, this is drilled with a one and one half inch uh, wide hole, a spade bit. And you're just going to drill it in the middle part. And yeah, so you can put the battery cable in there and after you do that right here the battery cable of the controller you can plug it together sorry guys the camera died in the middle of me connecting the battery wire to the controller wire but now what we're gonna do is just get the ignition 
and plug it to the power lock cable, which is an orange wire and a red wire on the controller. And then we're just going to want to turn it on and the light should flash if it works. The light's on the throttle. Alright, still daylight so it's kind of dim but there it is. Just going to turn that off for now. And now what we're going to want to do is put the chain on the, put the chain from the wheel to the motor so it can run. Gonna wrap it around and put the machine washer back on. And just try to connect it to the motor. Once we do that, tighten it back on. Now that the chain is on the motor, and once I just uh, plug this bolt in and then tighten it with the nuts, we can run it. So, yeah. Basically, that's part two of how to build a wooden electric go-kart. We have the motor to the controller, the throttle to the controller, and the uh, battery to the controller. And, yeah. If you have any questions at all, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching guys. This has been Project Mechanic.